Okay, I'm going to review for you today the Honeywell HE280 humidifier. And this is a humidifier, as you can see, that hooks directly up to your furnace. The advantages you're going to get of a unit like this is that the maintenance is almost nothing. So if you have one of the in-room humidifiers, you know that you've got to clean it out, you've got to run vinegar through it, you may or may not have a filter. The ultrasonic versions do not have a filter, but you still have to clean them out on a regular basis. It's time consuming and in my experience the in-room humidifiers don't do a good job. They don't really boost up the humidity level to the point you need unless they're directed right in your face which isn't real pleasant. This unit here can bump your humidity right to what you want in a matter of minutes. Um, I absolutely love it and the big draw for me, no cleaning, um, it has a water line that goes right to it, so as you can see here, it's tapped right in. Um, so I don't have to fill any, any water up or anything like that. It's very inexpensive to run, so it takes a, it's not a filter, but it's a pad that basically gets wet and water goes past it, or not water, air goes past. Um, so the air comes through and then it goes up through the furnace and humidifies the air. So. Um, it's really quite inexpensive in the long run. This unit here was about $200 from Home Depot. And this is the bigger model. There's two models, the HE280, which is meant for 3,000 square foot homes and above. And then there's the HE240, which is meant for anything zero to 3,000 square feet. So this is the bigger model. We have about a 2,400 square foot house. So this is a little bit overkill but it works fantastic. We can get this house to whatever humidity level we want in no time at all. It's easy to control. I'll show you the control knob. Um, and it's even they advertise that it lowers heating bills because moist air or humid air feels warmer than dry air. So the thought is, is that you could kick your thermostat down a degree or two with this and save money so they say it actually pays itself off in a matter of a few years so um, some of the cons are $218 I think is the price on Home Depot and you can get about five maybe six decent in-room humidifiers for that much but you can raise the case that they don't work nearly as efficiently as this does so in my experience I've had two different types of humidifiers this is the third I would do this again in a heartbeat. The only problem I have with this unit is not the unit itself, but the fact that you have to cut a hole in your furnace to accept that humidifier. And so with that being said, if this unit ever dies, I'm gonna have to patch that hole. Um, and that's just something to kind of consider, but really that's it for the cons. Um, my wife and I were shocking each other so bad that if we had the lights off, you could see an arc of electricity that was just crazy. Um, and you could feel your clothes were sticking to you, we're getting nosebleeds, everything's drying out. With this, we keep it at about 40% humidity, and it is like that year round. It could be negative 30 degrees outside, and this thing just keeps it a cool, consistent, um, humid level, so it's nice for sicknesses. You can just kind of modify that as you want to without having to go through all the hassle of filling up uh, in-room humidifier, cleaning it out, replacing filters which can be expensive. Um, so very happy with this unit. Um, I think Honeywell did a great job. We did not install this. We purchased the home with it installed, but the homeowner we bought it from said it was very easy to do. It took a couple hours um, and it was a breeze. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and we're going to go ahead and just kind of look at some of the features. So as I had said, this is the pad we buy once a year. It's about $10, and that's that's it for, for that. Um, take you down here, here's the AC adapter. It plugs into the wall. That's pretty self-explanatory. Here is just a little tap into our cold water line, and that cold water line feeds up into the unit itself. Um, and I can take this off and show you what that looks like as well. And other than that, all you've got is the wire that runs through here, and this is the dial that you can select. So we have a humidity gauge upstairs, and they put a nice little chart here to show you. All right, so given outside temperature, where do you want to be on the humidity setting? And there you go.
so it's very self-explanatory the only other thing it has is this little drain tube and when the furnace kicks on you can actually see water any residual water come down here and it's very minimal um, I'd say maybe it fills up like an 8 ounce cup after running for 10-15 minutes so not bad at all and I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off so you can see what it looks like inside alright now I apologize as it is kinda difficult to get a good shot in here um, maybe I'll move over here but as you can see there's not much to it all I did is screw off the cover and all it is is that little pad this black is the uh, water line that comes up basically just sprays a mist of water on this saturates the pad so it feels damp right now um, and then this little valve over here um, is in winter mode obviously it's letting the air through but when you're done in the summer and you shut this thing off all you do is flip this little dial over here and open it up and that's really all there is to it so when you want to change the pad this little frame is just four sections that comes apart very self-explanatory and uh, you just swap it out it takes you two minutes tops and there's really nothing to it you get a little bit of uh, dust and stuff down here and that's really all I do so I clean that up maybe once a year and it's good to go so um, I am very happy with this I can highly recommend it it did get uh, I think just under a four star rating on Home Depot's site so it's not like a top rated option for some reason but we have had fantastic luck with it and we're really liking it so good job Honeywell and uh, good job from what I hear on the installation instructions and ease of putting it together so I highly recommend it